It's the Wiley Clap Stainless Commander from Colt. here today at the Wiley Clap Commander from Colt. Now, uh, Wiley Clap has worked uh, through Talo and Colt uh, over the past few years making some um, dandy different versions of the 1911 Colt pistol. This one right here, you got some nice features. It's all steel. Now, Commander used to be when they first came out, all the Commanders was, because uh, the label Commander it was lightweight. They put Combat Commander on the all steel one. But this one, now they're labeling the uh, the Aluminum frame commanders is lightweight commander. The stainless one just labeled as commander. So don't be confused if you go to look at it. It has some features that is uh, really nice on it. It has just a, a little nub of a safety here, just like the older ones did, but sticks out just a little bit further. Similar to a, a regular 1911 original thumb safety. So it's not a big thing gets in your way. It is right hand only. So if you're left handed like me, you're going to need to fit an ambidextrous safety on it. Uh, Colt has really improved over the last few years. They've changed their beaver tail where it's upswept now. It used to be the beaver, Colt beaver tail came straight out. This upswept one uh, put your hand in a position when you reach for that gun in the holster and it just feels better in my hand. Easier to shoot. Got the round roll type hammer on it. It's got the uh, bump on the grip safety so you'll be sure and you uh, deactivate that grip safety every time you grasp it. Of course if you drop the gun automatically goes on safe with that. It does not have the uh, Series 80 style um, firing pin lock in it. No firing pin lock uh, like it was on the uh, Series 70 and all previous Colts up to that time. Got the standard uh, Colt lock work in it. Got a lighting three hole trigger in it. Uh, trigger pull on this is nice and crisp. Got a little bit of take up before it releases at a crisp four and a quarter pound average on my scale. Uh, standard uh, magazine release. Got some nice wood grips here that are finished dark and they got the checkering right here on them uh, with the thumbprint and fingerprint design which is on all the Wiley Clap Colt 1911 pistols. Got some really fine checkering here on the front of the uh, grip and here on the mainspring housing got the same checkering on it which gives you a really good grasp on this pistol. It doesn't have any forward serrations on it thankfully which is just fine. It's got the good Novak sights on it and the, and the rear side is black. It don't have the docks on it. Thankfully I don't care for three dock sights myself unless they're tritium knock sights. It's black on the rear and got a brass bead Novak on the front. Really good shooting gun, really tightly fitted. Uh, it's got a National Mac uh, barrel and bushing in it. Makes it shoot really well. It comes with two seven shot mags, a nice hard case and a lock. It will take a extended mags, an eight shot and longer if you want to. Really good shooting gun. It's a hefty gun, 36.2 ounces, I believe it was, on my scale. Uh, MSRP on this thing, as the date of this review, is uh, $1,159 US, which is uh, not a bad price for a gun fitted like this in this series. It's got some features that, that people want. It's got, uh, as uh, Mr. Claplock says, it's got everything you need and nothing you don't. So, unless you're left-handed, it's ready to go as it is. Uh, me, I would put on a set of Crimson Trace laser grips. I love the uh, their signature series, which really looks nice. But uh, a lot of times, low light, especially my eyes, I don't see any sights, no matter what they look like. So the laser grip really helps, and they are available from Crimson Trace. But we'll shoot a little bit, show you how it runs. It shoots just like I thought it would. Very accurate pistol, very reliable pistol. Worked 100%, hadn't bobbled on anything. I've used standard uh, imported ball ammo in it, all the way up to... Uh, high pressure plus P, buffalo bore, double tap, core bond stuff. It all shoots really well in this pistol. These are available now. If you need to find a Taylor dealer, uh, go to lipsies.com, click on the dealer finder, put in your zip code, and it'll give you a list of dealers in your area that handles this uh, Colt Wiley Clap Commander. As can be expected from an all steel uh, Commander 1911, this Wiley Clap version handles the heavy stuff really well. It's a plus P. 185 grain double tap hollow point uh, runs real fast out of here real accurate and it's powerful but this of course is full size uh, commander it's a fighting gun easy to control even with this hot ammo in it
Made a few holes in our old Chrome Magnum buddy right here. Really like this target. It's really dense rubber. We'll use it just about any time we're out here shooting. But uh, this Colt Wiley clap holds right in there good. Make you stand there shooting. Now I'll talk about the accuracy on it while I'm out here. This uh, pistol comes with a max barrel in it, which really helps on the accuracy of this thing. And from the ransom rest, I was getting some good groups. Depends on the ammunition how to shoot. You know, uh, your gun's not going to shoot any better than your ammo. But I had some shot really well. It liked the heavier stuff. 230 grain uh, buffalo bore, 230 grain arms core, and the 230 grain uh, double tap. All was under 2 inches at 25 yards of it ran some rest. And the uh, 255 grain buffalo bore was closer to an inch out of there. Really grouped well out of here. Some of the uh, ammo on the market is not going to group that well because the velocities are not consistent. But the pistol is going to shoot every bit as well as whatever ammo you got. Colt did a good job on uh, on fitting this barrel and bushing in here to the frame and slab. Works really well. It's a good accurate pistol. So, you know, you got no excuses if you're missing with this gun. It's a really, really nice shooting gun. Pleasant to shoot. It's all steel, which uh, on the Commander for carry, I prefer a lightweight with aluminum frame, but uh, some shooters prefer the all steel version, and on this stainless uh, Wiley Clap Commander, you got what you need here for a good, hefty, uh, good working gun, a good fighting gun. When it's easy to carry, it's uh, 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 relatively thin compared to some guns on the market. 45 ACP, got a total of eight shots with your seven shot mags, and of course, it will take longer mags if you want to. But it's a good shooting gun from Colt.